Jacques the Peerless, a true car expert. And Nicholas the Smart, a genius mechanic. On Mr. Quaxon's show, the car in question. Wait, and where's Nicholas? I think you've got your places mixed up. That's better. Let's start. Okay, the first question. Which car is capable of gaining the most speed? A sports car? A monster truck? Or an economy car? A monster truck, okay. And Nicholas thinks it's a sports car. Let's run an experiment to learn who's right. Okay, let's buckle up. Nice trick, Nicholas. Oh no, Jacques, you were wrong. And Nicholas was right. Nicholas is getting his first star. We proceed to the next question. Which of these vehicles is capable of digging a pit? An excavator or a tow truck? Jacques is ready to answer again. I hope you've really thought this through this time. Hmm, a tow truck. Nicholas chose an excavator. Well, let's see the right answer. It's not how it works, Jacques. Ah, uh, let's check how the excavator's doing. Oh, everything's perfect here. Unfortunately, Jacques, you were wrong again. And Nicholas was right once more. Nicholas has two stars already. You'd better step it up, Jacques. Attention! The third and final question. Which vehicle can contain more passengers? A limo? Be patient, Jacques. A limo or a minivan? A limo, okay. And Nicholas chooses a minivan. Let's find out who's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ducklings. One, two, three, four, five. Five ducklings. You were wrong, Nicholas. And Jacques receives a star. But you've lost anyways, Jacques. That concludes our trivia contest. Nicholas has two stars and Jacques has one. It's time to reward our winner, Mr. Quaxon. This pink Cadillac is yours, Nicholas. Don't be upset, Jacques. You were thinking out of the box and you're going to receive a consolation prize. A luxurious, magnificent, fantastic, Herring necktie! And we bid you farewell, dear viewers. This was The Car in Question. Oh no! It looks like we're in danger! A giant asteroid is coming towards Earth! The collision is imminent. We're minutes away from a catastrophe. But there's no reason for panic. Well, why not, actually? Panic. But now we need to save the Earth.
Hurry up, there's little time left. But buckle up first. Come on, let's save the planet. Here it is, the infamous asteroid. Jacques, Nicholas, we need to move the asteroid as far from Earth as possible. And what is that? This doesn't seem to be working, guys. Yeah, this was a bad idea. We'll have to come up with something else. Okay, what's this now? Your car seems to lack the power needed to stop the asteroid. Oh, be careful, Jacques. You've hit the moon, guys. Are you okay? Well, you got off lightly, and the car is in bad shape. You'll have to inflate the tire. Hurry up, Nicholas. There's not much time left until the collision. And you don't have a plan yet. What is it, Nicholas? Did you think of something? Let's go then. The asteroid is close, guys. Okay, the landing went smoothly. What's next? Have you decided to cut the whole asteroid into pieces? I'm afraid it will take a long time. Okay, I hope your calculations are correct. Oops, guys, you've gotten carried away. Well, what's next? Are you sure, Jacques? A balloon? Seriously? I am completely lost. And I'm starting to get nervous to tell you the truth. Jacques, Nicholas, where are you going? Ah, I think I get it now. You want to inflate the asteroid from the inside. Guys, that was fantastic! You saved the planet!